cool. You know what's cool? This spread right here. Leslie's here from Real Foods Market. Thank real you. Real foods. I like it when you're here. This looks good. I know. You can always feed your body better when you're eating real foods. Heck it's yeah. true. And I like that these are all things for a party that you're not going to leave afterwards and be like, what have I done to myself? But they're all really flavorful. <laughs> yeah. Well, sure. exactly. I mean, when we go to a holiday party, we worry about gaining weight, right? Yeah. Okay. What are the two biggest culprits for when you gain weight during holidays? Do you know? I'm guessing people drinking and lots of bread. Sweets. Okay. Breads and sweets. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The breads and sugar. So I've got a lot of great holiday foods that have no bread and no sugar. Nice. Okay, wow. a little bit of sugar. I have okay. to be honest. Okay. <laughs> okay. In fact, the first one we're going to start with is a little bit sweet. And we're going to do bacon wrapped dates. So awesome. you'll want to well, cut that your sugar that's natural sugar. Yeah, that's natural sugar. It comes sugar. with fiber, so I the think we're all right. The sugar, body right? can break it down. It's really great. Now, if this has a pit, you have to remove the pit and get it far away because you don't want to mix it up with your nuts. The pit will break your tooth. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you're going to take a nice raw almond and then a little piece of cream cheese and then cool. tuck it inside and simply wrap it in bacon. That's awesome. And you guys, this is the most del delicious and the easiest little holiday treat. And when it comes out of the oven, it looks like this. A bacon snuggie. And they are so tasty and so delicious. And so we'll just put them here on our little plate. But this is a really easy thing to do. I like to get the kids to do this. They always get excited because I promise them they can eat it before the crowd gets there. <laughs> nice. And they love the bacon. Of course, who doesn't like bacon, right? And the sweet and savory thing. Yeah, sweet and savory. That's cool. So that's number one. That's a great idea. Now let's look at the next thing. Okay, if we're going without bread, a lot of people like to have the cheese ball with crackers. Well, instead of crackers, we made vegetable chips. Yeah. Okay, cool. And it's wonderful because you really just take this simple mandolin tool, which I really like. I mean, you could cut it by hand, but this tool makes slicing this into chips a breeze. And you can see how nice and easy. Piece of cake. And yeah. then when you're ready to serve it, you just let people scoop it up. And this is herbed cream cheese, and I always buy the boars in because they've done all the work so for you. So you didn't even have to make yeah. it. Right. It's high quality. They've added the herbs and spices, a little bit of garlic. It's so flavorful and delicious. Have you done these types of appetizers for parties and things? Oh, yeah. What's the response when you set out something it's like this? It's a huge hit. It's not typical. I know I you're just trying to make it tough while she's <laughs> eating. <laughs> the thing is, people are delighted because they know they can come and eat and socialize. Yeah. And they don't have to worry about overdoing it. And they don't feel crummy after. I call it food coma. When you go to a party and you do too much, you yep. know? Yeah. Yep. There's always a hangover yeah. afterwards. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. I like it. All right, look, Sammy, we're going to talk more about the other delicious spread here that we have. But right now, we do. Okay, so we've all done that. I've been live selling like crazy. So this is a good way to stay healthy during the holidays, too. You can have fun treats that are good for your body and won't make yeah. you sick. I like this. That's right. It's absolutely great. We have vegetables out here, and this is a little bit of a salad. And what's cool is with this endive lettuce, it's a perfect little scoop. Yeah. And so you can fill it up. And today what I have are tomatoes. I'm adding balsamic vinegar, a little bit of oil, olive oil. What kind of vinegar is that? It looks kind of thick. It is the best. Napa Valley. It's really sweet. It's um, a reduced balsamic. And yeah. so it's delicious. Of course, I'm adding a little bit of real salt. And then chop up the herbs and put it around in these endive leaves. Now this one, I've sprinkled bacon on, so it's kind of like a BLT. Mm. But you know, a lot of people have... Um, food preferences. There are some people that are vegetarian or vegan yeah. or maybe they have a food allergy. I think when you're hosting a party it's important to be mindful that you have guests and so I would make the same thing but skip the bacon over here. This. I like you know. that idea. So then, and what kind of herbs are you just to skip here? Were yeah, you yeah. in here? Because a lot of times you put basil with the tomatoes, but this is different this time. This is thyme, That's which really is perfect great. for the season. Isn't that great? That's and awesome. then chives. So yeah. it has a little onion flavor and a little bit of um, that wintry you know, flavor. The last thing I wanted to show you is I'm making a homemade eggnog. Now, eggnog is a classic <laughs> holiday featured yes. item. We're making it with our raw milk, which I call real milk because it's the way Mother Nature intended mm -hmm. it to be. And I've blended it up here with a little bit of maple syrup, the whole egg yolk. Just look how gorgeous those egg yolks are because they're farm fresh. Yeah, and they're always a darker color. They are. They're organic, farm fresh, and it's the true egg yolk color. So then there we, go. we just pour in this delicious eggnog. The cool thing about this eggnog recipe, you could put it right into an ice cream maker and make a homemade eggnog ice cream. Ooh, yum. And so uh, what other kind so of fun. seasonings did you use in there? I used a little cinnamon. I used a little bit of nutmeg. And, and then if you want, you could add a touch of cardamom or you could add cloves. It depends on what, you know, what flavors you like. Okay. So anyway, you can get all this at Real Foods Market. We really appreciate people buying local because it supports all of our 
local yeah, Utah yeah. owners and our farmers yeah. and the families that we support by working there. And, and real quick, tell us where uh, Real Foods Market is for, the, for those of us that don't know. Yeah, 2209 South Highland Drive. Don't miss it. All right, you've got to try a sip of this. Okay, a little eggnog. Do it for the rest Cheers. of the Cheers. Happy holidays, Chris. Happy holidays. Check it all in one sip. How is it? Yum. Mm, that real milk so sundae. Much better. <laughs> That's really good. It's like ice cream, huh? <laughs> just like from the cow. You want to try this? I would love to. I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> Looks delicious. Thank you so much. We've got all the uh, recipes on our website if you want to try these out. I might have one of these, too. All right. Yes, you can. I'll let you toss to Lindsay while Let's I eat. Let's do it. <laughs> all right. We do need.